week seven of the fantasy football season. And here's a few defense DST units I have as sleepers this week. The first one, the Green Bay Packers. So the Packers I mentioned as a waiver warrior pickup this week. But right now, they're still out there after waivers have cleared a couple days ago. And still tons of leagues at 78%. So this Packer unit's been all right so far this season. I got a good matchup with the Broncos that give up the 10th the most fantasy points to DSTs on the season. So the last couple games here for this defense, week four versus Detroit. They didn't do anything. 34 points allowed, two sacks and in though. And week five at Vegas, 17 points allowed, four sacks and in though, and a block kick. So right now, I think they could get pressure on Russell Wilson in this game. This Denver Bronco team, they've been trailing early and often all season. I know it's a home game here for Denver. And this is a young Green Bay Packer team. But Jair Alexander, he should be back in this game. Their wide receivers really aren't threats, even though Cortland Sutton's had a decent season, but Jerry Judy hasn't done much. Russell Wilson, he's been okay, but he's a quarterback that's been making mistakes and has a couple fumble losses this season. So right now, I think this Packer team coming off the bye week, coming off refresh, getting some guys back in the lineup could be a decent sleeper option this week. The next one's the Chicago Bears. So the Bears, I know it's not been good at all this season is the Chicago Bear defense. But actually, the last two weeks, they've had decent fantasy performances. Week 5 at the Commanders, 20 points allowed in that one. Five sacks, an interception, a fumble recovery. In Week 6 versus Minnesota, 13 points allowed, two sacks, a fumble recovery, a block kick. So this week here versus backup quarterback, either Brian Hoyer or Aiden O'Donnell, it's going to be for the Raiders. The Raiders do give up the 16th most fantasy points to DSTs on the season. So right now, Chicago available 98%. Of fantasy leagues this is gonna be a sloppy game but they are the home team over here in soldier field where i think this defense could go out there and make a few plays in this one like i said this rated team they do have good weapons Devonte adams jacoby myers josh jacobs and michael mayer starting to get things going over the last couple weeks but i think this bear team if you're in the deepest of leagues and you want a sleeper option they're out there 98 percent and a team that could surprise this week. And the third and final defense, DST, which is a sleeper this week's the New York Giants. So the Giants out there in 98% of fantasy leagues. I know their defense is one of the worst in the league. A lot of rookies in the secondary. But the last few weeks, they've been serviceable. Week 5 in Miami, 31 points allowed. But they had a sack, a pick 6 in that ball game, a fumble recovery, and two interceptions. And then Week 6 in Buffalo, they held a great offense down to 14 points, including shutting them out. In the first half of the ball games, the stat line 14 points allowed. And he throw in a fumble recovery. So this week here, a good matchup on paper versus the Washington Commanders that give up the fifth most fantasy points to DSTs on the season. So right now, this New York Giant team, I know they don't got much on the defensive side. Tip it over, starting to play a little bit better, get to the quarterback. And now, over the last few weeks, they're making some plays and getting some turnovers as a giant team. Obviously, I could see this commander team scoring the mid-20s, possibly low 30s. But I think they could get a few sacks on Sam Howell. We know he's a gunslinger type of quarterback, throw an interception or two in this ball game. But I like the Giants as a sleeper in deeper leagues, available in 98% of fantasy leagues. That's a few defense DST units I have as sleepers for week seven of the fantasy football season.